Hey y'all! Welcome to Bee's Intuition. I'm Bee, and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So with that being said, y'all, let's hop in. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Holy Spirit, what is it that we need to know? Well, we have uh, the learning lesson card, but it came out in the reverse. So somebody didn't uh, learn a lesson. I just heard refused. So somebody could have refused to learn some type of lesson. This definitely could have something to do with like um, withholding information or something like that or like holding back because uh, this is also um, the inside scoop card. So somebody, yeah, possibly refused to um, inform somebody of something. But I feel like it was it, it's a part of some type of lesson. So this so this could have happened uh, before, you know what I mean? Or multiple times before. Like, yeah, somebody's supposed to le uh, learn a lesson about, you know, withholding information or like holding back. But they didn't learn a lesson. So I'm picking up. Yeah, somebody could re uh, be repeating some type of cycle because of them not learning some type of lesson. But somebody definitely is, wasn't informed of something or is not being informed of something. Um, somebody also doesn't want somebody to have uh, the inside scoop when it comes to, you know, whatever it is that they've basically been withholding. Or, you know, they don't want somebody to really know why, you know, they've been holding back from somebody as well. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be losing some type of license. So this could be, you know, like um, business license. This could be, you know, like um, liquor license is what I just heard. So somebody can own some type of business, you know, where they have uh, alcoholic beverages, you know, and they could lose their uh, license. This could be, you know, like a driver's license. Or, it could, or yeah, they're just saying that somebody could lose, you know, like their driver's license. So like misplace it or you know what I mean? Somebody could steal it or something like that. But I just heard uh, lose a license. So somebody needs to keep up with a uh, driver's license or whatever the situation is. Yeah. Or it could be, yeah, somebody could just lose, you know, some type of license that they need. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because it could be a part of, you know, uh, their business or it's, you know, part of, yeah, their brand or it's a part of, you know, uh, their way of life. I just heard CDL, so somebody could be a truck driver. Somebody could lose their CDL license. I just heard due to negligence. So whatever this license is, is somebody's losing it due to negligence. I just heard abstain. What is... Hold on, y'all. Let me look up this uh, word abstain. Abstain means to restrain oneself from doing or enjoying something. It says the terms stip stipulate that he must abstain from consumption of alcohol and controlled substances. So something about alcohol and controlled substances could be significant as to why somebody loses some type of license.
so something about yeah somebody holding back somebody didn't learn a lesson or something like that um somebody definitely yeah could be holding back some information from somebody so somebody could uh be holding back the the fact that you know what i'm saying they possibly got a dui and they you know lost their driver's license or you know uh they got a dui you know on the job and they done lost their cdl you know it's something about yeah somebody withholding some information but i feel like that uh whoever this is they 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 tend to withhold information from somebody or you know what i'm saying uh i feel like whoever this person is in their mind it's kind of like i'm uh, it's for their best interest you know what i mean like the person that they're withholding the information from they're they're basically looking at it like i don't want to tell them because i don't want to hurt them or i don't want them to know you know what's going on because they're going to be disappointed in me or whatever the situation is but the big red book came out in reverse. So it also could be because somebody doesn't want um, to get the big red book thrown at them. Or somebody doesn't want to, want to get the law involved. So somebody, yeah, definitely could, could, have, could do something or could have done something while under the influence of alcohol and drugs. And maybe somebody, yeah, they, they haven't, you know... Uh, told somebody you know what took place but whoever this person is yeah they don't want the, to get the law involved or they don't want to get the red book the big red book uh, thrown at them this could be spiritual law because the projections card is at the top of the deck so this could be yeah spiritual law something about spiritual law yeah whoever this person is yeah they're holding back this is the, the back of a vehicle car. Something about, yeah, a crash. Somebody could hit the back of a vehicle or something about in the trunk. So something is in the trunk or something about a trunk. I'm also picking up, too, like something to do with like uh, tags, insurance. I feel like, yeah, somebody has a lot of problems or a lot, a lot of issues or they done uh, created a lot of problems and issues and they don't want somebody to know. Or this could be, yeah, they done created some problems and issues for somebody, and that's why, yeah, they don't want somebody to know. They don't want somebody to find out. Mm hmm But this also could be something about, yeah, a car dealership as well. A car dealership could break the law. Or something about, yeah, somebody uh, breaking the law, you know what I'm saying, uh, doing things, you know, um, and getting, you know, like businesses involved or whatever the situation is. But somebody also feels left behind. Or something about, yeah, somebody leaving somebody behind. So whoever this person is, it, it's kind of giving me like, um, whoever this person is, um, they could have left somebody behind, you know, as far as like, uh, I'll be right back. I'm about to run to the store, you know what I mean? And, and get a Pepsi or, you know what I mean? I'll be right back. I'm getting ready to run to McDonald's and get me a McFlurry. But, you know, they got it. They didn't go to McDonald's, nor did they go to the store. You know what I mean? They basically lied. They went somewhere else and did something. Or this is somebody that could have been like, yeah, I'm going, you know, uh, on a business trip for the next seven days. So I'll see you when I get back or I'll talk to you when I get there. But this is, yeah, but they didn't go on a business trip for seven days. They went somewhere else. I feel like, yeah, somebody's hiding, you know what I mean, some stuff from somebody. And for this person to be trying to avoid, you know what I'm saying, the law or, or be trying to, um, you know, don't want the law to get involved or don't want, you know what I'm saying, to get in trouble. I feel like this person definitely could have done something, you know what I'm saying, to somebody. That's why they're trying to avoid somebody. Or that's why they're avoiding having some type of conversation or that's why they're avoiding, you know, um, filling somebody in on what has taken place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Meet me in the mall. It's going down. Meet me in the club. It's going down. Meet me anywhere. It's guaranteed to go down. But it was in the reverse. So, some yeah, somebody doesn't want something to go down. Or somebody, they don't want, yeah. It's kind of like, yeah, whoever this person is, whatever they have done, they have been trying to hide it. They probably could have been trying to hide it from multiple people. Because, yeah, they know that if people find out, it's going down. 
So this person is trying to everything in their power to 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 not have the law involved, or you know what I'm saying, to avoid the law. But also, yeah, for to basically, yeah, try to keep the peace. You know what I'm saying? But it's kind of like trying to, you know what I'm saying, keep everything stable while the earthquake is going on. You know what I mean? And you can't do that. Or it's kind of like, yeah, somebody, you know, still trying to cook. You know what I'm saying? While there's a tornado going on right outside of their home. Or somebody, you know what I mean, out on the lake. And, uh, you know, they're trying, they're fishing or whatever the situation is. But it's, 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 a, it's, it's pouring down raining. It's like a downpour, you know, where you can't even see. That's how hard it's raining. And somebody's still trying to fish. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's kind of too like, yeah, this is the uh, the yo-yo at the end of a string. So this is like, yeah, puppet on the string. So this is like manipulation. The game is over. So I feel like, yeah, whoever this person is, they, they could be a big manipulator. So it's kind of like, yeah, whoever this person is, but they manipulate not only with their words, but like with their actions. So going back to the examples, this is somebody that, yeah, they they even if an earthquake is going on, you know what I mean. This person is still, you know, and I'm not, and and I don't feel like that this person is in denial. You know what I mean? Uh, well, let me not use that as an example. Yeah, this is somebody. Okay, going back to the to the car crash. You know what I mean? It could literally be a car crash, but um, just using the car crash as an example. This is somebody, you know, um. You know, that they, you know, would have a fender bender or whatever the situation is. And it could have literally been a legitimate accident. But this person, you know what I mean? They'll get out of the car and they'll go across the street like they weren't driving the car. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, they went, they ran that way. Or, you know what I mean? This is somebody that, yeah, they, they, they yeah, they're a master manipulator. But I feel like, yeah, the game is over. Or something about, um, uh, somebody was never planned the manipulation game or something like that so it's kind of like whoever this person is they play with life but it's somebody else or you know yeah that that basically yeah is is it knows that life is real so this is somebody that yeah they live in fantasy world mentality while somebody else you know what i'm saying chooses to live in real life mentality so the fact of the matter is yeah somebody can't be manipulated that's what that uh, card is in the reverse and it's almost looking like, um, you know what I'm saying? The yo-yo has control of, of the hand. So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody, somebody's game has basically backfired on them. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, yeah, somebody shooting their, their own self in the foot. Or you know what I mean? Somebody kicking their own self in the behind. So something, something definitely has happened. I feel like, yeah, it's a past situation. Bad idea. Yeah. Excuse me. Somebody definitely is being watched or somebody is watching somebody heavily. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it, this is giving me, yeah, like um, somebody's game basically backfired on them. So, I feel like, yeah, somebody or some people are about to watch something uh, take place. Or, or somebody or some people have already, yeah, watched something take place. And maybe they didn't say nothing. I feel like, yeah, it could be a couple of people. You know what I'm saying? Who kind of, you know, were playing some type of game with a master manipulator. And they're all, you know what I'm saying, basically, yeah, stuck. Because, yeah, the, the game basically backfired on them or something like that. I just heard the streets don't love nobody. So, so, whoever this person is, they possibly, yeah, we're living some type of street life. Mm-hmm. And then we have uh, the good idea card, but it's in the reverse. Or the bright idea card in the reverse. So, yeah, bad idea. So, yeah, somebody or some people, or pe some people definitely could be about to watch some type of bad idea. You know what I'm saying? Go down. Or, or some people already did. Mm-hmm. But this is, yeah, like somebody not knowing something. 
Yeah. I feel like somebody yeah, is realizing that some that them not, you know what I'm saying, uh, filling somebody in or them not, you know what I'm saying, basically, yeah, uh, speaking some type of truth or, you know, uh, telling, you know, what took place or something like that was a bad idea or something like that. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody basically is finding out that either way it goes, uh, they're still going to be stuck. But something about, yeah, stuck. Somebody also was realizing, yeah, putting somebody on a pedestal was a bad idea or putting somebody, you know what I'm saying, uh, holding somebody to a certain standard was a bad idea. So somebody definitely, yeah, could have been, could have held, you know what I mean, um, a karmic feminine or a karmic masculine, you know what I'm saying, basically, well, let me not say hold, held them to a standard. But it's kind of like, yeah, they treated a karmic masculine, karmic feminine, you know what I'm saying, like a divine feminine, divine masculine. Or something about, yeah, um, somebody leaving somebody behind. So this could be, yeah, like somebody lying to somebody and going, you know, over there, wherever they went to, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and they done, yeah, they done got involved with some stuff, but they failed to tell, you know, somebody, that, you know, that... I really went over there, you know what I mean? I really didn't go on a business trip. I really went over there and I didn't got myself involved. You know, this is like, yeah, somebody saying that they're going on a business trip, but they really go, you know what I'm saying, to a casino for seven days straight and they basically gamble for seven days straight and they lose all their money and they're in debt. You know what I mean? So whoever this person is, they done did something. They done got themselves involved in some stuff and yeah, they failed to tell somebody. But this could be, this literally could be, yeah, like somebody, you know what I'm saying, went and cheated, you know? And something is going down, you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes. And somebody, yeah, still doesn't want somebody to know. Or it's kind of like, yeah, somebody's dreading telling somebody, you know what I'm saying, some stuff. But at the same time, it's kind of like uh, a part of the reason why somebody don't want somebody to know is because they don't want the law to be involved. Somebody definitely don't know something, but at the same time, I feel like, yeah, somebody or some people are finding out that whatever, you know what I'm saying, that they got themselves into, it wasn't a good idea. Somebody's also, yeah, watching somebody, trying to figure out what's going on with somebody, but they can't figure it out. Somebody definitely is trying to, you know what I'm saying, block somebody's intuition. Somebody, I'm also picking up too, it's something about the past. So this could be the past, you know what I mean? So like somebody could have done something in the past and we're in the present, but it's kind of like this person didn't learn some type of lesson. And so the lesson is coming back around for this person. So now this person, yeah, they, they could be, the, the car didn't come out, but they could be uh, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Mm-hmm. We got the front and the bag card. At the top of the deck, so a bad idea to front somebody some money or a bad idea to, to give somebody some money. Mm-hmm. Because it's something about, yeah, um, dark motives is what I just heard. Or something about the nighttime. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be to, could be trying to mess with somebody's dreams is also what I'm picking up. You know, trying to cause somebody to not have dreams but to have nightmares. So somebody definitely need, but I've been picking up that energy as far as people uh, playing in people's uh, while they're asleep uh, for the last couple of messages. Yeah, somebody, somebody, the game is over. Somebody or some people are being watched and they don't even know it. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, uh, there definitely could be somebody that could be being watched, and it's a bad idea. So, I feel like, yeah, it's a divine feminine, divine masculine, but it's something about, um, yeah, something is happening because, you know, of a divine feminine, divine masculine being watched. This could be like um, like watching a divine feminine, divine mask on social media page. 
and somebody yeah somebody doesn't expect a divine feminine divine masculine to be like um Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, these people are expecting a divine feminine, divine masculine, uh, you know, just to be, you know, posting their regular photos or, you know what I'm saying, just doing their regular do. And divine feminine, divine masculine, get on there and snap, you know what I'm saying, and just start talking about shit, you know what I mean? And maybe, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine could talk about something that this person thought that they didn't know. And so now it's kind of like, I didn't give them the inside scoop. How do they know what's going on? Man, I can't get the law involved. I ain't trying to get locked up or whatever the situation is. But going back to, yeah, when I was picking up something about, yeah, somebody's uh, somebody's license. This definitely has something to do with somebody's license. This could be like a private investigator. You know what I mean? They could be losing their private investigator license. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's something about, yeah, somebody doing crooked things is also what I'm picking up. So, yeah, there could be somebody, you know what I'm saying, that's supposed to be a professional, you know. Let's just use the private invest investigator as an example, you know, and, and they're supposed to be doing a job, but they're in the bar, you know what I'm saying, uh, getting drunk with their clients, you know what I mean, um, and things of that nature. And then, yeah, going to watch a divine feminine, divine masculine. It's kind of like, yeah, something is backfiring on somebody or some people. Mm. Why is learning lessons in reverse? Yeah, we got the crown. So yeah. The crown belongs, yeah, to a divine masculine, divine feminine, so wear it proudly. But yeah, somebody is the owner of something. And it's something about, yeah, somebody, yeah. Basically knows it's a bad idea. So somebody definitely, yeah, could have could have done something illegal. This could have something to do with a business. This could have something to do with a vehicle. You know, this could have something to do, you know, with, um, yeah, like, uh, you know, uh, copyright. You know, like somebody, you know, copying somebody else's stuff. Uh, mm hmm. But this also could be like spiritually. So, yeah, somebody, somebody, yeah, is about to find out, or people are about to find out that it was a bad idea to try to come for somebody's crown. It's kind of too giving me, because this owner energy is kind of giving me, like, yeah, some, so, yeah, manipulate somebody to get somebody to relinquish something you know what i mean so like relinquish their crown or relinquish you know um their destiny you know relinquish something you know what i mean that was given to them by the most high like not by a human but on the physical level yeah something about yeah somebody being the owner of something but with this owner and then this big red book in the reverse it's kind of like yeah illegal so somebody's walking around saying that they're the owner of something but they're really not or somebody is blaming some like the real owner for some stuff that they didn't do. Mm hmm. Yeah, something about, yeah, the owner of some drugs. So going, yeah, here we go. So something about a car. So somebody's trying to keep uh, the law out of something. Um, so I'm picking up, yeah, it, it's definitely something about a car with this owner and this addiction card. Somebody, yeah. So somebody was, yeah, drugs and alcohol. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody definitely yeah could do you know what I'm saying, uh get drunk, you know, take drugs and then you know what I'm saying, basically yeah, do stupid things. Somebody yeah could purposely uh get drunk and take drugs. That's that's what amps them up. So it's kinda like, yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like that they're a fake, they're a faker. Well, pretty much, because that's why they have to manipulate their way through. So, yeah, this is somebody that, yeah, the only time that they would get amped up or the only time that they would do something illegal or, you know what I'm saying, the only time that they would live a street life is, yeah, when they do drugs and alcohol. So, somebody, yeah, was trying to impress somebody. So, basically, yeah, somebody done went behind somebody's back and done, 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 done some shit. 
trying to impress somebody so it goes back to yeah somebody treating a divine feminine divine masculine you know what i'm saying like a karmic feminine karmic masculine or yeah somebody trying to impress you know what i'm saying a a, a karmic feminine or a karmic masculine mm-hmm and it was a bad idea big red book Yeah, we got the rose. Somebody's name could be Rose. Mm hmm Yeah. Crown of thorns. So something about Jesus. Yeah, something about, yeah. Persecuting. So somebody, yeah, definitely could have tried to persecute somebody. Or, yeah, somebody is being persecuted. Something only lasted uh, for a short time. So something about, yeah, a short-term situationship. Mm-hmm. Something about, yeah, somebody somebody being on a, the top or something like that only for a short time. Or something about, yeah, somebody um, trying to, yeah, cut somebody being on top short. So... Yeah, there could be a divine feminine, divine masculine. Um, that um, I just heard short street, so somebody could live on short street, or short street could be significant to somebody. Um, but yeah, there could be a divine masculine, divine feminine. That yeah, they're just on top of their game. You know what I'm saying? Their crown fits, and they're and they wear it proudly. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Mm hmm. And yeah, this rose. Somebody definitely could drink Crown Royal. But this rose uh, is giving me like, yeah, um, out of everything that, that, that has taken place and that is probably continuing to take place, yeah, something beautiful is, is the outcome is going to be beautiful. Mm-hmm. Somebody, somebody's temper is also short as well. Or something about, yeah, somebody being triggered. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be trying to trigger a divine feminine, divine masculine, or something about, yeah, a trigger. So that could be something else that could be found in a car, or that could be something else that, yeah, somebody literally could have tried to blame on a divine feminine, divine masculine, or something like that. Somebody definitely could be short, like short in stature. Mm-hmm. But look, and I didn't even see this at the bottom of the deck, so yes, there is a beautiful outcome that's getting ready to take place. So it's something I'm picking up a setup. So yeah. So somebody definitely could find out that yeah, somebody was trying to set them up in the past, or you know what I mean. If it's not a setup, yeah, somebody's just gonna find out that somebody done got themselves in 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 some stuff, and they possibly yeah. Somebody else was on the verge of yeah, get being involved with some stuff, and and somebody and the person that was on the verge. They was at home sleep or they was at work or you know what I'm saying? They was at the gym, you know what I mean? They were they were being productive, you know what I mean? But yeah, dreams come true. So somebody definitely is about to get what they want. And it's something about love, because y'all see that heart? It says passionate love on this card. Mm-hmm. So somebody possibly is, yeah, getting ready to receive some type of uh, passionate love situationship. But it don't necessarily have to be, yeah, passionate love situationship. It just could be, yeah, some type of miracle is going to take place. Uh, some type of dream is going to come true. Something that somebody's been wanting is, is about to come true. Something about, yeah, some crows. So somebody could see a lot of crows. That definitely is a message. When you see a lot of crows. So let's look that up real quick. It says... Spiritually, crows represent transformation, positive change, and intelligence. 
Seeing a crow is generally considered to be a good omen. Temporary and unexpected changes are coming, but the outcome will be positive. So, yeah, that's the energy that I was picking up. So, I feel like, yeah, somebody just uh, needs to, you know what I'm saying, trust their intuition. But I feel like, yeah, with this bad idea card, well, the bright idea card in the reverse, it's giving me like, yeah, somebody doesn't want somebody to trust their intuition. Or somebody, yeah, could be trying to uh, block somebody's intuition. But yeah, some type of miracle is going to take place and it definitely has something to do with the law. Because behind uh, the miracle card is the law card. Somebody else yeah, could definitely be being watched by the law. Or the fact of the matter is, there definitely could be people, you know what I'm saying, like a lawyer or a judge or something like that. Or even the police themselves that could be being watched by the law. Scale, the scales are definitely getting ready to be balanced for somebody. Yeah, there's something about forbidden love. It's something about, yeah, some type of crying. So it goes back to, yeah, somebody lying to somebody saying that they, yeah, were going here or they were going there and they were possibly, yeah, going to deal with somebody else. This could be, yeah, like somebody that they possibly um really didn't know or, you know, it could be, yeah, that it was just like a short-term situation or something like that. But I feel like that, um, uh, it may be, it may be yeah, they thought, you know, that, when it came to them and the divine feminine divine masculine that it was just supposed to be some type of short term situation or that's what you know what I'm saying they were expecting but it's something about yeah this person yeah running to somebody or running to people you know what I mean these could be people you know that somebody considers as their friends but they're really not or you know what I'm saying this could be somebody that yeah somebody you know thought possibly loved them or you know what I'm saying proclaimed to love them but it was really like forbidden mm-hmm so something about yeah, somebody um somebody not learning some type of lesson. I feel like too, somebody's also about to be if somebody is not the owner of something, somebody's about to be the owner of something. And it is by law, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's legal, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be in black and white. Ain't nobody gonna be able to stop it. Mm-hmm. Yo yo at the end of the stream in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's looking like a clown out here. But yeah, so yeah, this somebody, yeah, they somebody puts on the show out here. Or somebody was putting on the show. So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody was trying to impress somebody or some people. The game is over for a clown. Somebody definitely, yeah, was trying to camouflage themselves. They were trying to hide themselves. But it's also too something about, yeah, somebody trying to laugh at somebody. Somebody definitely has been watching somebody. It was a bad idea. Or somebody, whoever this is, is watching somebody. Yeah, they're about to, uh, they're about to see some type of miracle take place for somebody. Something about yeah, revenge. Somebody definitely could have been trying to get some type of revenge on somebody, and it could be yeah, to 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 set somebody up or to you know place some type of blame or you know what I'm saying to yeah, basically place somebody somewhere where they weren't you know so that somebody would have to take some type of charge or some type of blame or something like that. But it's also too, yeah, somebody basically is realizing that, yeah, somebody that said that they passionately loved them, it wasn't real. So, yeah, somebody was putting on a show. This is somebody that, yeah, they're a master manipulator. This is somebody that, yeah, they're, that, yeah, this is somebody that has persecuted somebody behind the, the, the scenes, you know what I'm saying? Behind somebody's back. This is somebody that, yeah, nailed somebody to the cross behind their back. This is somebody, yeah, Judas. Because revenge. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, yeah, whoever this person is, yeah, they're looking like a clown. They're really looking like a clown. So they're no longer hidden. You know what I mean? They definitely could hide themselves. They can no longer hide. So it's something about, yeah, whatever whatever this person has been doing, it's, it's out in the open. You know? The lies that this person has been telling, it's out in the open. Or they're out in the open or they're going to be. Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody's trying to hide the fact, you know what I'm saying? So it goes back to, yeah, somebody doing drugs or alcohol, you know what I mean? 
uh, and people and people was like, yeah, every time you you know drink and do drugs, you you want to uh, act stupid, you want to act like a clown, you want to put on a show, and somebody is pissy ass drunk calling about, I ain't drunk no alcohol, I ain't did no drugs. Mm-hmm. So what about a performance drug as well? So something about Viagra. If this is not a performance drug. Oh, so somebody can't perform, you know what I'm saying, under uh, drugs and alcohol or something like that. So somebody has to take, yeah, like Viagra or BlueChew.com. Go get you some <laughs> in order to perform sexually. This is crazy. It's all type of stuff coming out about somebody. Which further lets me know that, yeah, that's a part of somebody trying to laugh at somebody or somebody trying to clown somebody. You know what I mean? That definitely could be a part of somebody's revenge. So I was just picking up that, yeah, uh, the truth is about to cut. It's, it's out or it's going to come out or, you know what I'm saying, whatever, you know, what's going on behind the scenes is coming out. Yeah, it's because of, of some revenge. So somebody's trying to get some revenge on somebody. Mm-hmm. Somebody also needs to be aware because, yeah, somebody definitely could have some type of uninvited guests that comes to their home. Somebody's ancestor definitely is watching somebody. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody's, uh, somebody or some people are surprised about, you know what I'm saying, yeah, somebody basically um, doing what they do as far as wearing their uh, crown and wearing it proudly. You know what I mean? So somebody, yeah, could already be the owner, you know what I'm saying, of something. But I feel like, yeah, <laughs> somebody has somebody's done some stuff. And so it's kind of like, yeah, that's why somebody or some people were laughing. You know what I mean? But they thought that, yeah, they've won or they thought that, yeah, the victory was theirs. Yeah, somebody's a somebody definitely is a master manipulator, but they're also a master at camouflaging stuff. They're they're a master at yeah, uh withholding information. They're a master of yeah. Basically, yeah, they can be guilty, but this is somebody that yeah, they they definitely can can make it look like that they're innocent. Some type of accident has taken place. Or some yeah. Something could have happened in the past and somebody doesn't know that something has happened in the past or there is some type of accident that's getting ready to take place or that somebody somebody definitely needs to uh, be aware because there could be somebody that yeah could try to pop up at their home to try to cause some type of accident or something about yeah something is haunting somebody so yeah it's, if something happened in the past it's haunting somebody but somebody yeah definitely needs to um, be aware because somebody definitely could be trying to pop up at some uh, somebody's home. I feel like yeah, with this uninvited guest and then the uh, bright idea in the reverse, it's kind of like um, maybe somebody has already yeah tried to pop up at somebody's home, but maybe they popped up at the wrong home or something like that. But it's also too something about yeah, even if somebody was to try to pop up at somebody's home, yeah, somebody's being watched. So it's kind of like being watched by the law. So the law basically yeah could be. Already knowing that the that whoever you know this message is for somebody or some people try to put your name in something or they try to blame place blame on you or whatever the situation is or they're trying to manipulate you you know what I'm saying to take some type of blame or you know what I mean they're they're trying to manipulate you that it's not that uh that it's that it's not that bad or you know what I'm saying but 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 the law is like yeah it is bad it's I'm also picking up too yeah so like people something about indictment. So there could be some people that are being indicted or something about, yeah, racking up charges so that, yeah, it could be, you know what I'm saying, like a steeper sentence is also what I'm picking up. It's a lot going on. I'm getting like details, details. Mm-hmm. Somebody also, yeah, laughed at somebody's big change or um, somebody, yeah, it was, yeah, some somebody was, some, somebody was persecuted persecuted for them you know what i'm saying basically yeah wearing their crown you know what i'm saying persecuted for um yeah some type of big change in their life this could be yeah um no drugs and no alcohol you know what i mean this could be like yeah somebody um 
you know, decides to clean their life up, you know, and go down, you know, a straight path. This could be, yeah, somebody um, just not giving out information, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, somebody, whoever this message is for, people could be used to you sharing, you know, information. And maybe, yeah, you, you, you're no longer sharing information or you don't need to. But something about, yeah, people are trying to get revenge on somebody. Mm-hmm. The same person or the same people that are trying to get revenge on somebody are the same people that are being laughed at because now they're being watched. So somebody, yeah, definitely could have been involved in some type of accident. This I'm picking up a car wreck. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that, yeah, whoever these people are, they 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 put somebody's name in something or it's something that these people have done. This could be, yeah, like somebody stole somebody's driver's license and then when 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 the accident happened or when the crime happened, people could have ran. But they left somebody else's driver's license, like Divine Fan and Divine Masculine's driver's license in the car. And so yeah, it would make it look like Divine Fan and Divine Masculine was responsible for some type of crime. And this could have been like a hit and run. This could be like, yeah, somebody that, yeah, could have almost passed away or passed away or something like that. So going back to the miracle with the law, so something about yeah. So it's kind of like when I was picking up the energy, like, yeah, Divine Fit and Divine Mask, and they was at home sleep, or they was at work, or they was at, you know what I'm saying, the gym. They were nowhere to be found, or, you know what I mean, they were in two, it was, it's two different places. So this could be like, yeah, these people could be at a distance from, you know what I'm saying, a Divine Fit and Divine Mask, but it's something about, yeah, there's proof that a Divine Fit and Divine Mask wasn't nowhere to be found, or, yeah, it, it couldn't be them. And maybe it's because the Divine Fit and Divine Mask is already being watched. Or it could be the fact that, yeah, Divine Fender, Divine Masculine, they could be seen by a lot of people because they have social media. So on the day or the time, you know what I'm saying, that uh, some type of accident was was uh, committed, yeah, they go on uh, Divine Fender, Divine Masculine's social media page and they see that Divine Fender, Divine Masculine was all the way in uh, Jamaica. You know what I mean? And this, uh, you know, accident could have happened in Ohio. And yeah, real time, you know what I'm saying? Like Divine Fender, Divine Masculine could be on live in Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? Living their best life, yeah. So it's kind of like, yeah, the, the same people that, yeah, try to get some type of revenge or the same people that try to clown a Divine Fender, Divine Masculine or something like that, I feel like, yeah, somebody's going to pop up. It's kind of like, yeah, but it's it's a bad idea. But it's also too, yeah, going back to like some type of love situation. Um... So, yeah, I feel like there's a forbidden love situation. We got a passionate love situation on this card, but I was picking up a forbidden love situation. So I feel like that, yeah, there definitely could be somebody who could be trying to pop up on somebody. And that is a forbidden love. It's a, it's it's not a good idea. Somebody don't know that somebody is going, because it says surprise on this card. So somebody doesn't know that somebody is going to pop up on them. Um, but this could be a good thing. This could be a bad thing. But I feel like, yeah, somebody just needs to... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Be aware. Because I don't like that forbidden love energy. Bread idea in the reverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have ascending. So, Divine Fender, Divine Masculine, you could be ascending. But this ascending is also giving me, like, yeah, y'all see how that person is, like, looks like that they're, you know what I'm saying, calling the light. Or, you know what I'm saying, the light is calling them. But, oh, so, something about, yeah, uh, there definitely could be, yeah, uh, uh, somebody that passed over. You know what I mean? That, yeah, could be popping up on somebody. Somebody definitely is about to have to make some type of decision. But I feel like, yeah, somebody needs to be aware because, again, I don't like this energy as far as being called to the light. Somebody don't know that somebody wants to pop up, so somebody needs to be aware. And, yeah. It definitely could have something to do with somebody's level up. So it, it has something to do with, yeah, somebody wearing their crown proudly. But it's also, too, yeah, there's a divine feminine, divine masculine that's about to receive some type of promotion. So going back to, yeah, out of all the mess, something, uh, there's a beautiful outcome that's going to take place. Mm hmm. But then we have unfinished business. So there is somebody that, yeah, um, feels like that, uh, them and Divine Fender, Divine Mask can have some type of unfinished business. But this is somebody that, yeah, has a lot of baggage. So this is somebody, so this is probably the one. 
You know what I mean? So either this is the master manipulator or they basically, yeah, were hiding the fact that they were involved with a master manipulator that could have manipulated them to do some stuff and they done got into some stuff and now they're trying to run back to a divine feminine, divine masculine or something like that. But I'm also picking up too on a passionate love situation. So there is a divine feminine, divine masculine that, yeah, if they haven't already came across this passionate love situation, they're going to. And it's kind of like, yeah, whoever they get into a passionate love situation with, yeah, they're not, they, they don't play no games. And yeah, this is somebody that, yeah, like the, the, the past person, they, they, they don't compare to whoever this person is. Mm hmm. This is somebody that, yeah, will put a divine feminine and divine masculine, you know, on the pedestal that they deserve. This is a divine, this is somebody that, yeah, will treat a divine feminine and divine masculine like the emperor or the empress that they are. Mm hmm. But there is somebody that, yeah, they're, they're, they're um, surprised about, you know what I'm saying, divine feminine and divine masculine putting on for themselves, you know what I mean? Uh, l you know, leveling up, changing, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Being passionate about loving themselves, being passionate, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to, you know, life in general, you know? So, be aware because, yeah, we got the hidden truth. I'm also picking up, too, now that a divine feminine, divine masculine is in a different life, you know what I'm saying? Well, let me not say life, um, but like in a different place in their life, like possibly, yeah, has leveled up, you know what I mean? Um, in whatever way, shape, form, or fashion that they've leveled up and people can see it, yeah. Now somebody wants to, you know what I'm saying, tell the world that they love a divine feminine and divine masculine. Now they want to tell the world that they passionately love a divine feminine and divine masculine. They want to tell, yeah, the world that it's not over between them and a divine feminine and divine masculine. Mm-hmm. Wow. And this is crazy. So, whoever this person is, I feel like the, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine, you need to be aware. Because somebody definitely is about to try to surprise somebody and somebody don't even know it. But it's also, too, yeah, um, somebody's ancestor is about to surprise them with something. This could be somebody. So, like, yeah, an ancestor could be divinely guiding somebody, uh, a divine feminine, divine masculine's way. So, it goes back to that passionate love situation. It goes back to, yeah, the person, you know what I'm saying? That, yeah, the, the past person, they can't compete because they can't compare. You know what I mean? This is like, yeah, the empress is emperor or the emperor's empress. Mm hmm. So, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, just wait for it. But I feel like that, yeah, there's somebody that, yeah, somebody has had a short-term situation with that's, yeah, lingering, watching, stalking. Mm-hmm. I just heard Rufus. Well, who is Rufus? Somebody's name could be Rufus. That that Rufus is like a... It gives me like a dog name. Somebody could have a dog named Rufus. Or something about, yeah, whoever, somebody in this situation, they're just a dog. You know what I mean? They don't know how to treat somebody. Loser, loser. <laughs> what is going on today? Yeah, get it how you live. So whoever this person is, yeah, there's somebody, there's some, because there's multiple energies. There, whoever this, whoever the person is that I was picking up on, that they, they got to take drugs and drink alcohol. You know what I mean? To, uh, you know what I'm saying? To, to basically, yeah, put on a show for people, impress people, or whatever the situation is. Um, yeah, this person how about got to get it how you live? And I feel like yeah, this person they ain't lived. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's something about whoever this person is, they ain't been through too much. You know what I mean? This is somebody that, yeah, they haven't learned about living. It, yeah. The lesson learned card is in the reverse. This is somebody that, yeah, they ain't mastered something. Somebody could definitely have their master's degree or something like that. 
there's somebody that yeah definitely could be jealous of a divine feminine divine masculine because it's it's kind of like you know and i'm just using this as an example a divine feminine divine masculine they could you know have a degree or something and they could put their degree to you so whatever the situation is but somebody else has a degree and they're not doing anything with their degree but they're mad at the divine feminine divine masculine and it's kind of like how you mad at the divine feminine divine masculine the divine feminine divine masculine didn't go you know what i'm saying all those years to college for you you know what i mean you did it for you didn't you so this could be that same person hung about got to get it how you live but this person got a whole degree and they out there you know what i'm saying living a street life doing stupid thing stupid stuff you know what i'm saying basically yeah being laughed at mm -hmm. there's also somebody um and it could be that passionate love situation people are laughing at somebody no it's not that person it's the other person people are laughing at that person they're telling this person that it's not a good idea but they're like yeah i'm gonna pop up anyway Ooh wee! But then on top of that, it's kind of like yeah, whoever this person, they got a trick, a uh, two or three up their sleeves. So somebody needs to be aware. But there definitely is somebody that yeah has told people that they're going towards their emperor or their empress, and they are going to do it. It's because they're being divinely guided to do it. So it's kind of like yeah, two two. It's kind of like sweet tea and unsweet tea. You know what I mean? It's kind of yeah, like regular Mountain Dew and Diet Mountain Dew. Coke, Diet Coke. And it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a difference. But, it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I feel like, yeah, somebody just needs to be aware because somebody is definitely planning to pop up on them. But, but somebody, there's an ancestor that's divinely guiding somebody to, you know, to somebody as well. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, yeah, the, the the fact of the matter is somebody's trying to, you know what I'm saying, uh, somebody's trying to cloak themselves, camouflage themselves, you know, as, uh, you know, the, the, the real Coca-Cola, but they're just the Diet Coke, you know what I mean? And you really can't tell, you know what I'm saying, just by looking at them, which one is the Coke and which one is the Diet Coke. You got to taste them, you know what I mean? And even sometimes, depending on what diet drink that you drink, it, it's kind of like, wait a minute, let me taste it again. So I feel like the, yeah, somebody's definitely going to have to use their gift of discernment when it comes, you know what I'm saying, to this situation. Because it goes back to, yeah, the people, the, 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 the Diet Coke individual. And I'm just using this as an example because I don't like Diet Coke. I don't like Coke, period. But, like, I don't like diet drinks. If I drink a soda, you know, rarely... I will drink, um, you know what I'm saying, like the regular, like Mountain Dew or Pepsi or, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, yeah, I won't drink a diet. So that's why I'm using that as an example. But no offense to those that, you know, drink diets. But um, it's kind of like, yeah, whoever this person is, they, yeah, they've been hiding some stuff. They've been hiding, they've been camouflaging, they've purposely been withholding information or holding back. Because they don't want uh, the law to get involved in something. And so if they're holding information back from a divine feminine, divine masculine, because they don't want to get the law to get involved with whatever this is, then it has something to do with a divine feminine, divine masculine. But I feel like that, yeah, there's somebody that they want revenge. And so I feel like that, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine, and possibly, yeah, other people are going to find out about it. This could be somebody that, yeah, is trying to pop up on the divine feminine, divine masculine, you know what I mean? So basically, yeah, try to expose somebody. But at the same time, it's kind of like, yeah, it's not a good idea. Or somebody's going to find out the hard way. Something about, yeah, somebody definitely could get into some type of accident. You know what I mean? By trying to, yeah, go towards the divine feminine, divine masculine. Because I definitely was picking up on the same ancestor that's divinely guiding uh, somebody a divine feminine, divine masculine's way. is the same ancestor that's, yeah, watching whoever this person is. But it's also, too, yeah. The, the physical, like, law people, you know what I'm saying? Like, detectives or, yeah, investigators or something. So, whoever this person is, they're being watched. This is, this is, this is a bit much. I'm also picking up, too, uh, that, uh, somebody, uh, whoever this is, is trying to pop up on somebody. You know what I mean? The one that is not being divinely guided. Yeah, they could, yeah, they could get pulled over. 
You know what I mean? And there definitely could be a lot of stuff in the car. Like drugs, you know what I'm saying? Weapons, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, it's something about, yeah, whoever this person is, they... They're, it, it, it's about revenge. So, I feel like, yeah, somebody or some people are going to find out that, yeah, it's a bad idea. A bad idea to try to pop up on somebody. Bad idea, you know what I mean? Yeah, something about, yeah, being called to the light. Mm-hmm. Or the light, yeah, calling somebody or something like that. Something about the light. Somebody, yeah, could run a light. And, yeah, somebody could get into an accident. It's something about an accident or something about a vehicle. Yeah, and the law. Yeah, we, when I split the deck, we got manipulation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody is a master manipulator. And somebody, yeah, somebody could have some type of health uh, issue going on. There definitely could be, yeah, that could be something else. So, somebody, yeah, could pop up on somebody. Um, yeah, want to have a conversation about their health. Somebody, yeah, somebody definitely is going to receive some type of message. And it is about, yeah, somebody's health. July 31st could be significant. So somebody could have received some type of message about their health um, in July. And yeah, somebody is definitely concerned. But it's also, too, like, yeah, there could be somebody that could be trying to pop up on somebody. Like, yeah... Uh, such and such is, um, such and such is, uh, you know, sick or not doing too well. But it's kind of like, yeah, somebody's not going to be able to get there, you know what I'm saying? Because something is going to happen. Um, but if this is about, yeah, somebody trying to get revenge on somebody, mm -mm. something is going to happen. Either an accident is going to take place or, yeah, they're going to get pulled over. Why is this crown here? Ooh. We got a ritual. So somebody, yeah, definitely could have done some type of ritual or somebody's trying to do some type of ritual. Uh, this ritual card is a number 44, so that is an Ascended Master number. So somebody, yeah, is an Ascended Master or something about somebody's Ascended Master. Somebody, yeah, definitely, definitely has... Uh, gone through some type of spiritual level up or somebody is going through a spiritual level up or somebody yeah either has received some type of spiritual promotion or they're or they uh are going to receive some type of spiritual promotion mm -hmm. but it's something about a ritual so somebody yeah could have went to a top level person to do some type of ritual on somebody mm-hmm Somebody that claims that they're a master of, of, of doing rituals or something like that. This person's name could be Rose or something about, yeah, somebody using alcohol and uh, roses. Something about a spiritual bath as well. Mm -hmm. It's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody trying to, uh, something about, yeah, an altar so somebody yeah could be putting stuff on an altar you know what I'm saying like uh, crown royal you know roses or whatever the situation is um so it's kind of like yeah trying to offer up to somebody else's ancestors or something like that which is yeah a bad idea so somebody was trying to manipulate or trying to bribe somebody else's ancestors or they literally yeah could have been trying to bribe their own ancestors somebody is dumb out here or people are dumb out here Mm -hmm. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, what somebody does for their protection as well. Somebody is, somebody, yeah, somebody definitely knows. It's it's kind of giving me, like, master protector. So somebody definitely knows what's up when it comes to protecting, you know what I'm saying, their energy. Yeah, when it comes to protecting, you know what I'm saying, themselves physically as well. But especially, yeah. Um, 
but especially spiritually. But it's something about, yeah, this crown and this thorns is giving me Jesus. So something about, yeah, Jesus. So I don't know, yeah, somebody, um, what did they think that they was doing? Somebody did some type of ritual, you know what I'm saying, and they included Jesus in it. But it's also too something about, yeah, somebody, it's something about the name Jesus. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, so the same person or the same people, yeah, that was involved in some type of ritual or something like that. Yeah, trying to take somebody else's uh, spiritual crown. Because they take, they, 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 yeah, trying to take somebody's spiritual crown. Yeah, these are the same people that, yeah, now I'm calling on Jesus or something like that. Or these are the same people that, yeah, they're, they're, they're trying to, yeah, I don't know what they're trying to do. But it's kind of like, yeah. These people are, so going back to, yeah, trying to keep the law out of it. So, spiritual law, you know what I'm saying? Trying to keep themselves from going to spiritual court or spiritual jail. Something about, yeah, a spiritual message. Somebody could be a spiritual messenger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got opposition. Look. Looks like an accident to me. Look like somebody's going to the hospital or coming out to me. The number eight could be significant. So, yeah. Balance. Somebody could be a Leo or have Leo in their chart. Something about domestic abuse as well. So something about, yeah, somebody wanting to keep something out of um, the courts. But this is also, too, yes, this is somebody that, yeah, they were they were withholding some information from somebody. Mm-hmm. This could be, yeah, somebody that, yeah, could harm themselves. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, run to the law and say that, yeah, somebody else harmed them or something like that. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, whatever somebody was doing with this ritual, yeah, they're getting their ass whooped. Or something about, yeah, whoever this person is, going back to, yeah, um, doing drinking alcohol and doing drugs, you know, and, and, and uh, just doing stupid stuff, stuff yeah, they could get their they ass beat. Looking like a clown. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of too, like, yeah, people um, want to, so that, yeah, so people that laughed at a divine pen and divine masculine because of something that they don't went to, went through, yeah, it's kind of like um, the tables are turning. So, yeah, if a divine pen and divine masculine went through this, you know what I mean, because of some type of, yeah, forbidden love situation. The tables had turned on somebody. So the same person that, yeah, was coming up against a divine feminine, divine masculine, trying to take a divine feminine, divine masculine's crown or whatever the situation is. So it's kind of like a divine feminine, divine masculine, right? So there's a, just say a karmic feminine, karmic masculine that was like, yeah, I want they crown. I want they spot. I want this. I want that. And so the most high was like, oh, yeah, do you? Because you don't know, you know what I'm saying, what's really going on over there with divine feminine, divine masculine. You don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get yeah, you want to get it how you live? Yeah, you want to get it how divine feminine divine masculine live? Okay, say less. But but just know that divine feminine divine masculine don't live that life anymore because divine feminine divine masculine done made a big change. But I'm gonna give you the life that yeah you said that you wanted, and so yeah, there could be a divine feminine divine masculine that could have gotten out of you know what I'm saying some type of forbidden love situation, and now somebody else is in a forbidden love situation, being clowned. But this is the same one that, yeah, wanted to get revenge on a divine feminine, divine masculine. Yeah. And then on top of that, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine. That make a, made a big change. It's all about self-love with a divine feminine, divine masculine. Mm-hmm. Now somebody's enamored. Now somebody, yeah, or somebody's trying to play like that they're enamored by a divine feminine, divine masculine. This is crazy. But it's also, too, yeah, whoever that person is that now, yeah, wants to run to a divine feminine, divine masculine because 
uh, yeah, they, they, they done got themselves, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they were doing. They, this ritual is giving me like, yeah, trying to steal somebody's spiritual crown. But it's also like, yeah, love spell. Yeah, so that's what the love spell do for you. That's what trying to steal somebody's spiritual crown do for you. Yeah, look. I didn't even see it. We got thief. We got community and thief. So yeah, whoever this person is, they're being clowned. They're being clowned by the community. But at the same time, yeah. So the same person or the same people that yeah were that, that were clowning the divine feminine, the divine masculine because of some type of life that they went through, or you know what I'm saying, some type of suffering, you know, some type of hardship, you know. Uh yeah. The persecution. They persecuted a divine feminine divine masculine for whatever reason they persecuted a divine feminine divine masculine. This could be um you know, because they love Jesus or this could be, yeah, because, you know what I'm saying, they're into crystals or, you know what I mean, they they set out, you know, offerings to their ancestor to show gratitude to their ancestors or whatever the situation is. Um, you know, Yeah, these people could be like, uh, well, how do they say that they uh, love Jesus or they're, you know what I'm saying, a follower of Jesus, but, you know, they got an altar or, you know what I'm saying, they they do this and they do that. And I feel like, yeah, they, they basically, yeah, we're trying to question the wrong one. I feel like, yeah, uh, don't question, you know what I'm saying, a divine being that's over there minding their own business. If you got any questions, you need to take it up with the master. You need to take it up, you know what I'm saying, with, with the maker. You know what I mean? But instead, I feel like, the, yeah, people were doing stuff to a divine feminine, divine masculine as far as some type of revenge. Or, you know what I'm saying, just laughing at a divine feminine, divine masculine. But it's all started with the person that, yeah, was hold, was withholding information that they ran over there to whoever these people are. Or they ran over there to a karmic feminine or a karmic masculine. And, and yeah, basically, um, basically, um, spit and stomped on and threw rocks at a divine feminine, divine masculine for a karmic feminine, a uh, karmic masculine, you know what I'm saying, for a whole community of people. But, yeah, somebody definitely did steal something. A, a whole community could have stole or something about yeah uh, somebody's being laughed at because yeah the whole community knows you know what i'm saying that yeah basically they 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 were they are a thief so this could be yeah like a spiritual thief physical thief both definitely trying to steal somebody's spiritual crown possibly yeah trying to steal somebody's uh passionate love situation by yeah trying to so yeah, so thinking that they're still in somebody's man, so it goes back to yeah, whoever this person is, they said that they wanted a divine feminine, a divine masculine's life. So there you, there they, they got it. You know what I mean? But that's not the life that divine feminine, divine masculine lives anymore. The problem is this person can't get out of it. So that's another reason why they're possibly yeah going to try to communicate with a divine feminine, divine masculine. How'd you do it? How'd you get out? How'd you get on your spiritual journey? How you know what I mean? But I feel like whoever this person is, they they just want to get they just want to get out of this cycle. But I feel like that yeah, this person is stuck. It's kind of like yeah, something about this person didn't learn lessons when it comes to multiple things. You know what I mean? So this could have been yeah, somebody that could have done multiple things. So like, so this person stole divine feminine, divine masculines, man or woman. You know what I mean? So that wasn't enough. They they went further to, you know what I'm saying, get information from the person that they stole from the divine feminine divine masculine to try to use it, you know what I'm saying, against a divine feminine divine masculine to have uh people laughing at a divine feminine divine masculine. This is somebody that yeah could have manipulated a divine feminine divine masculine to go back over there. I mean the uh uh yeah. So it could be a divine feminine divine masculine that was manipulated with a yeah. Uh, but but this person, whoever this person is, could have uh, manipulated a divine feminine, divine masculine to go over there and steal from a divine feminine, divine masculine. But it's something about yeah, some people people are either going to find out or they're already finding out that it, yeah, it was a bad idea to try to steal from a divine feminine, divine masculine. They're trying to steal some type of level up as well, or trying to yeah stop divine feminine, divine masculine from leveling up or you know what I'm saying getting some type of promotion. And I feel like it definitely is spiritually, but it it could be physically. They're trying to, yeah, stop a divine feminine, divine masculine from uh, getting some type of surprise. That's the second surprise card. But it's something about, yeah, multiple people possibly, yeah, want to pop up on a divine feminine, divine masculine. But it's kind of like, yeah, surprise. So, some somebody in the situation I just heard that divine feminine, I don't need, I don't know you, is what I just heard. So yeah, there's somebody in this situation that um, divine feminine, divine masculine don't even know. So it's something about, yeah. All this information that was being withheld from a divine feminine, divine masculine, and I feel like yeah, if a divine feminine, divine masculine has been realizing that shit has been, 
that's that stuff that's been going on in their life or you know what i'm saying just it ain't something ain't right i feel like yeah divine feminine divine masculine is about to find out but i really feel like the yeah divine feminine divine masculine they already know you know what i'm saying um like surface but i feel like yeah somebody's ancestor definitely yeah done dig done dug you know what i'm saying deep and and done hit you know what i'm saying oil and so yeah i feel like that um uh, divine feminine divine masculine is about to find out some deep stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have the courthouse. If somebody, yeah, if whoever this person is did some type of love spell, I feel like it backfired. And so, yeah, it caused whoever they did a love spell on to, yeah. Or something about, yeah, somebody, whatever they were doing as far as this ritual. It, uh, yeah, it's causing somebody to go crazy or something like that. Yeah, the game is over or it's not a game. Or it never was a game. But something about, yeah, somebody being laughed at. There's some type of change that, that definitely could take place in the courthouse. Uh, somebody could be 44 years old. Somebody could be 23 years old or 32 years old. Uh... August the 23rd could be significant. So there could be some type of court situation that could take place in uh, August. But it's something about, yeah, somebody being laughed at. So now, yeah, so the tables have turned on somebody or, yeah, it's kind of too like, yeah, somebody could be losing their mind. So somebody, yeah, could be literally self-harming themselves. And then, uh, yeah, going in line to the court. So going in, you know what I'm saying, calling the law and saying that, yeah, he... He hit me or she hit me or whatever the situation is putting on a show. There's also, yeah, somebody, yeah, that's going to be up in court trying to put on a show. And I feel like the, yeah, er, people are going to laugh at them. Because, yeah, I feel like the people are going to basically know, you know what I'm saying, what's going on. Or people have already, yeah, figured somebody out. So we saw that community in that thief card. So this is somebody that, yeah, could have stole from like a lot of people in their community. Thinking that, yeah, the community is going to back them up. This could have been somebody that, yeah, they steal from their neighbors or, you know what I'm saying, they steal from their family members or whatever the situation is. Yeah, the same, the, whoever this person is, they're being laughed at and they're definitely going to be laugh, being laughed at in court or the fact of the matter is, yeah, they're going to try to get some type of revenge, you know. So if there's some type of court date that, that takes place in August, you know what I mean, uh, for somebody, yeah, whoever this person is, they're going to try to get some revenge by exposing some stuff in court. We got a mature man and a boss. So something about a mature man and a boss. Somebody could be born in 1988. But yeah, there are two changes that's getting ready to take place or two decisions that somebody or some people are going to have to make. Somebody, yeah, definitely is getting ready to receive some type of level up or some type of promotion. There is somebody that's about to be in court. There's also somebody that, yeah, is about to um, pop up on somebody. Somebody don't have no idea. This could be, yeah, somebody, a boss. Somebody that somebody used to work for. Or this could be, yeah, somebody that somebody don't even know. Or if it's not popping up, it's, um, if it's not popping up, yeah, this is somebody that, yeah, could reach out to somebody, somebody, this person could email somebody, DM somebody. Whatever somebody does when it comes to, like, their spiritual protection, I feel like somebody don't have no idea. Somebody is a master... Somebody's a master manifester, but somebody yeah, is a master protector. Like, I don't, I don't even know if that's a, a thing, but it's a thing right now. If somebody does have, you know, like an altar, I feel like the, yeah, somebody needs to uh, redo their altar. But it's also, yeah, I'm also picking up too. It's kind of like, yeah, somebody needs to figure out what their ancestors like, you know, for for the one that has an altar. And put that on the altar. Or somebody could already be doing that. But let me keep going. We got a Jezebel at the bottom of the deck. So there could be a Jezebel that could be trying to pop up on somebody. Or there's a Jezebel that's, yeah, got something about an accident. And look.
And something about, yeah, somebody definitely could have tried to do some type of ritual to make somebody like hurt, like hurt themselves. But I feel like it's backfiring. Somebody is losing their, their, their shit. Somebody's losing their mind. But it's something about, yeah, um, somebody, yeah. Somebody could be 54 years old. Somebody could be 97 years old or 79 years old. Or somebody could be born in 1997 or 1979. Just give me one for this uninvited guest. Yeah, we got the surprise card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody somebody definitely could be coming in peace though. Um, cause on this person's shirt, it says no hate. Mm -hmm. This, uh, surprise card is a 14 where it breaks down to a five. Somebody could have colorful hair. Somebody could have gauges in their ears. Yeah, so this courthouse card is a number 23, which breaks down to a 5, which would be change. Uh, the surprise card is a f 14, which breaks down to a 5, which means change. August the 14th could be significant, so something could have taken place um, in August, on August the 14th. So it could have been some type of court hearing or some type of court date. And the court date could have been rescheduled to, to August the 23rd or something like that. Or this could have been in the past. You know what I mean? And it could be, yeah, coming back to bite somebody. So it's kind of like going back to, yeah, somebody wanting to keep something, you know what I'm saying? Wanting to keep the law out of it or wanting to keep the courts out of it. I also heard settle out of court. So, mm hmm so that could be another reason why somebody wants to pop up on somebody or, you know what I'm saying, reach out to somebody. But then we have thief card. So somebody's a thief. This thief card is a 24, which breaks down to a 6. So something about the past. Mm-hmm. Somebody definitely could have, yeah, tried to stop somebody from, like, having some type of physical promotion. You know what I mean? This could be a past boss or something about, yeah, trying to stop somebody's progress. Somebody, yeah, somebody was somebody's a thief out here, but we really picked that energy up the whole message. Um, mm -hmm. There's a community involved. There's a community, you know, what I'm saying that could have been involved with doing some type of ritual or something like that. But this is also too giving me like jury energy. So, like, yeah, somebody could have tried to do some type of spell over the jury, over the judge, over the courts, or something like that. And that, yeah, we have divination. Something about a tarot card reader, or, you know what I'm saying, a psychic. Mm hmm But it's also, too, something about, yeah, there's a whole lot of people that know that it's something is not a game. So, it goes back to, yeah... People um, laughing at somebody. So this could be yeah, a tarot card reader. This could be a psychic. You know what I mean? Doing doing, doing what they do best. You know what I'm saying? Wearing their crown proudly. You know what I'm saying? Being a master manifester. A master protector. A master, you know what I'm saying? Of whatever they do. Top level. You know what I'm saying? High ranking spiritually. And yeah, people laughed. And now, yeah, it's not a game. So it's kind of like, yeah, people possibly are trying to run to somebody. Or, you know what I mean? They, they need help. Or... You know, it's something about whatever these, yeah, because they're endings. Because some, yeah, they done hit a roadblock. Somebody, yes. So the whoever this is or whoever these people are, they done caused some type of roadblock for themselves. Mm-hmm. I just saw actual money. So somebody done stole some money or something like that. 
or somebody needs to be aware because there definitely could be somebody that's acting like that they're coming in peace but they're not they're trying to steal but I just saw the actual money card and so something about actual money I'm also picking up too that yeah somebody wants to keep something out of court and so somebody possibly yeah, is going to try to bring some type of actual money you know what I'm saying uh, somebody's way but I feel like somebody don't need to you know what I'm saying uh, somebody yeah it's possibly going to need to hire an attorney if somebody don't know what's going on but I really feel like somebody doesn't know what's going on yeah you could be a divine feminine mm-hmm and so I feel like, yeah, somebody's going to find out what's going on. And maybe that's another pop-up. You know what I'm saying? Somebody possibly, yeah, wants to pop up on somebody or reach out to somebody to let them know, yeah, what's going on. We got a boss. So so somebody could find out that, that their boss or like, you know what I'm saying, like an old boss was a part of a community. You know what I mean? That That, that does stuff. You know what I mean? But something about, yeah, stealing from a boss or, yeah, something about a boss is a thief. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, the Divine Feminine Divine Masculine is about to find out that they're the owner of something. Somebody definitely is going to end up in the hospital. Mm-hmm. We got uh we got the hello card. So somebody definitely needs to be aware because I feel like the yeah, somebody that, that definitely stole from a divine feminine divine masculine and whatever way they stole, spiritually, physically, or both, yeah, they're gonna try to pop up. So that's the energy that I was picking up as far as like, yeah, somebody trying to pop up or somebody trying to reach out. And yeah, they don't their intentions are off. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, master manifester. So something about, yeah, there's a divine feminine, divine masculine that is manifesting somebody. There's an ancestor that is divinely guiding somebody towards a divine feminine, divine masculine's way. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody's going to try to, yeah, reach out or pop up because they want, they, don't, they want to keep something out of the courts. Which, the fact of the matter is, it's already in the courts, whether they know it or not. And it could be because somebody or some people don't know that they're being watched. Somebody's home is being watched. It's also, too, something about, yeah, peop uh, th those that are watching somebody's home or those that are watching some people's movements, yeah, they're seeing people come and go. They're seeing, you know what I'm saying, what's what's going on. Mm -hmm. well, there's also, yeah, somebody that has some type of animosity with a divine feminine divine masculine. It's also, too, yeah, somebody that has animosity with a divine feminine divine masculine's ancestors or, yeah, these people, they want an animosity with a divine feminine divine masculine, and they done ran into a divine feminine divine masculine's ancestors. So, yeah. Somebody could be 43 years old or 34. Somebody could be, not, yeah, 79 years old or 97, or born in 1979 or 1997. Yeah, somebody could be 48 years old or born in 1984. Yeah, spiritual court. So, these people are definitely being clowned. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, if, if there's a divine feminine, divine masculine that have to go to court, just know that your ancestors are in the building. You're at, you, yeah, you definitely are being watched over when it comes to your ancestors. But there also could be, so going back to, yeah, somebody's ancestors divinely guiding somebody somebody's way. Yeah, it definitely could have something to do um, with um, somebody, yeah, basically revealing some stuff to a divine feminine, divine masculine. But but there's but there is some fraudulent stuff going on. So divine feminine divine masculine, you're gonna find out some information. It's about some type of uh, fraud documents or some type of fraudulent information or fraudulent um, statements or something like that. And it definitely could have something to do with the courthouse. So this so go so if this is spiritual court, this is like yeah somebody going in court, you know what I'm saying, acting like that they're so hurt. Divine feminine, divine masculine, and they did a ritual on me, and 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 and, and yeah, they need to be prosecuted, and you know what I mean, and yeah, the jury, they're laughing at this. The spiritual jury is laughing at this person. Their own ancestors are laughing at them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, divine feminine, divine masculine's ancestors is laughing at them, and they looking at this person like, are you dumb? You know we 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 can see everything, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? This is like, yeah, uh, this person going in spiritual court saying, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine. All they say all day is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But then they go do dark rituals. 
And yeah, somebody's ancestors is like, yeah, they 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 got to be tripping. They got to be the one that was doing the rituals. They got to be the one, you know what I'm saying? Because they mind is off. Yeah, but but also too, um, people are are about to find out that it, it that yeah the game is over or something like that. So it's something about um yeah somebody can put on a show all day every day in court if they want to, but somebody's about to find some stuff out. And then something about yeah somebody's ancestors. So I don't know if somebody's about to find out that yeah somebody uh, created some some false documents or something like that. Um, as far as like um, something that could have been left for you know a divine feminine divine masculine, I don't know. Or this could be yeah like spiritual inheritance. Mm -hmm. Somebody definitely is about to surprise a divine feminine divine masculine with some information that they didn't know about. Mm -hmm. And yeah, divine feminine divine masculine, just know that you definitely are being protected by your ancestors. There's also, yeah, somebody that, yeah, could be um, going to communicate with a divine feminine divine masculine to basically, yeah, warn them about protecting themselves or something about, yeah, divine feminine divine masculine receiving some type of um, message from, you know, an ancestor to protect themselves. Somebody could be born in 1993. Somebody could be 39 years old. But but going back to yeah, the person that's being divinely guided to a divine feminine divine masculine, yeah, I feel like yeah, they're <laughs> yeah, they could be a master protector as well, a master manifest master manifester as well. But it's something about yeah, um, because this person it gives me like um, I really can't tell if they're a man or a woman. I mean, they have a mustache, so I don't know. So something about a change. So somebody could find out that, yeah, somebody is a transgender or something like that. Or somebody's about to find out some information. You know what I'm saying? And it has something to do with a transgender. I don't know. Somebody, yeah, could find out that, yeah, somebody... I just heard a drag queen. I'm also picking up, too, that, yes, uh, there is a divine feminine divine masculine um, that hasn't seen somebody in a very long time. And they're possibly not going to be able to recognize them because, yeah, they possibly were a man and now they're a woman. Or they were a woman and now they're a man or something like that. But we have Twin Flame. Mm-hmm. So this definitely got something to do with somebody's Twin Flame. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody trying to steal somebody's Twin Flame. Somebody's ancestors is definitely, yeah, protecting somebody's twin flame or you know what I'm saying somebody's ancestor is yeah divinely guiding somebody's twin flame their way I'm also picking up too going back to the coke and the the diet coke or the the Mountain Dew and the diet Mountain Dew so it's something about yeah there's a divine feminine divine masculine that possibly thought that yeah the Mountain Dew was the was the Mountain Dew, but it were, but it wasn't. It was the the Diet Mountain Dew. So something about yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine, thinking that um, thinking that a uh, a masculine or feminine energy, you know what I'm saying, was their divine feminine or divine masculine or their twin flame. And yeah, there's a divine feminine, divine masculine that's gonna find out that um, it's yeah, it's 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 a false twin flame or a false divine counterpart. On top of this child card came out. So somebody's going to find out something about a child. Or something about child abuse. Or something like that. Or something about yeah. Somebody somebody possibly yeah. Knowing their twin flame since they were a child. Or something about yeah. There could be yeah. A twin flame or divine counterparts that are destined to have a child. And a family. It's also too something about um, adoption. So somebody could find out that they're adopted. Somebody could find out that twin, twin flame is adopted. It's a lot of stuff going on in this message, y'all, for sure. Mm -hmm. But how we started out at the beginning of the message, um, regardless of everything that's going on, 
in this situation. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful outcome that's going to take place. The outcome is going to be beautiful. Mm -mm. So it's something about, yeah, abuse. So there could be a divine feminine, divine masculine, you know what I'm saying, that has, yeah, got out of some type of abusive cycle or something like that. But there is somebody else that possibly is is all up in an abusive cycle. Mm -hmm. We got obsessed men. So something about some obsessed men. And then we have hiding information. So that's the energy that I picked up at the beginning of the message. So somebody yeah, has been hiding um, some information. And it definitely got something to do with obsessed men. Mm -hmm. So while, yeah, somebody's hiding information, thinking that, you know what I'm saying, it's causing a divine feminine, divine masculine to look stupid or, you know, it's, it's, I feel like whatever this person, whatever reason this person was hiding information for, it backfired. The tables have turned. So somebody yeah, is really figuring out that they shouldn't, that it was a bad idea. On top of that, it's kind of like whatever information that was hidden, it's still going to be revealed. But yeah, there's a divine feminine, divine masculine that's showing their haters up. So it goes back to, yeah, people trying to nail divine feminine, divine masculine to the cross with that ritual. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, with that, um, that crown of thorns, it's kind of giving me like, yeah, sacrifice. Mm hmm. Yeah, somebody could be 25 to 40 years old. Faith without works is dead. So I feel like the yeah, the reason why, you know, a divine pen, divine masculine is able to, you know, um in, you know, some cycles in their life, you know what I mean, that they knew that they shouldn't uh be in, you know, and they and they basically, yeah, know that they you know, it's a must that they ended them. I feel like, yeah. Um, because a divine feminine and divine masculine had the faith, you know what I mean, to end it or the faith to, you know, continue to move forward, even through the, the persecution, even through, even through the, the being spit on, the being laughed at, the being talked about the, you know what I'm saying? The, the rocks and the bricks being thrown at somebody, you know what I mean? Even through, you know what I'm saying? All the, whatever, the rituals, the whatever have you. Yeah. I feel like, um. That's why something is dead. That's why, yeah, um, yeah, the game is over. Or that's why, yeah, something is getting ready to take place. Mm -hmm. But it's also too, yeah. Somebody thought that um, divine feminine just had faith, or somebody, or people didn't think that divine feminine was putting in some type of work. So, with that being said, it goes back to yeah, it's something about the name Jesus. So I feel like the yeah. Divine feminine, divine masculine, they, they put in a lot of work, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, their their spiritual protection. They put in a lot of work when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, receiving some type of uh, le spiritual level up or spiritual promotion or even physical or uh, level up, physical promotion. Um, yeah. So they put their faith with their works. And so, yeah, that's why divine feminine, divine masculine is still standing. But that's why, yeah. Stuff that Divine Feminine Divine Masculine said that was dead, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's done. Finito, finish. Yeah, that's why it's dead. It's done. It's finito. It's finished. Yeah, Divine Feminine Divine Masculine is a warrior spirit. And so, yeah, Divine Feminine Divine Masculine, just know, you know what I mean, that your ancestors are definitely proud of you. The ancestors came out. So, just know that they definitely got your back. Mm-hmm. So, it's kind of like, yeah, whether this is physical court or spiritual court, is whoever that person is or whoever those people are, they're being clowned or they're going to be. Mm -hmm. We got a Sagittarius Capricorn uh, Cusper. So you could be a Sagittarius Capricorn Cusper or there's a Sagittarius Capricorn Cusper that's involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, regardless of what's going on, Divine Feminine Divine Masculine, um, the outcome is going to be a beautiful one. So just know it. So there is some good karma coming to Divine Feminine Divine Masculine's way. Mm -hmm. So yeah, some type of tragedy is about to be turned into triumph Or that's literally what a divine feminine divine masculine has been doing Turning tragedy into triumph 
So it goes back to, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine, getting out of, you know, an abusive situation ship or divine feminine, divine masculine, you know, getting away from a certain uh, mindset. You know what I mean? Uh, divine feminine, divine masculine uh, going from, you know, having low self-esteem to loving on themselves and knowing, you know, uh, you know, their worth and things of that nature. Mm hmm. Yep. So multiple plans have failed. If these people thought so something about yeah that 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 ritual so somebody whoever these people are they could have sacrificed multiple people around them or something like that or or you know what I'm saying they yeah but sacrifice could be like set people up you know what I mean so maybe yeah they thought that they were going to set a divine feminine divine masking up that's the the um, energy that I picked up on at the beginning of the message they could have tried to do it multiple times you know this could be spiritually and physically you know but it but it, but it goes back to to like yeah. People thinking that, you know what I'm saying, uh, them causing some type of tragedy was going to cause some type of triumph, you know what I'm saying, in their life. But yeah, multiple plans failed. Somebody could be a Gemini or have Gemini in their chart. Wow, we got illegal use of pictures or videos. So that could be what somebody is trying to keep out of the courts. So... I really was waiting to see, yeah, if, 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 um, you know what I'm saying, the Most High was going to basically reveal, you know what I'm saying, some, some stuff that these people were doing, or was it that somebody was just going to have to find out? So, yeah, somebody or some people used illegal pictures or pictures or videos in an illegal way. So, that's one of the things that they're trying to keep out of the courts. But at the same time, it's kind of like, yeah. If multiple plans have failed, then that's what they're going to try to do is use some pictures or videos. You know what I'm saying? But it's illegal. I feel like they already have. So with that being said, but it's also too something about, yeah, somebody, because remember I picked up on multiple people trying to communicate or, you know what I'm saying, trying to pop up on the Divine Feminine. It's something about revenge. And so, yeah, it could be that um, these people have some type of pictures or videos of a Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine you know what I'm saying? Or Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine's Twin Flame. Or Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine's Divine Counterpart. And so, yeah, the person that has some type of animosity or the person that's mad, they're going to try to, yeah, use those videos to get revenge on a Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Or use those videos, or, you know what I'm saying, use some information to try to, yeah, get some revenge on a Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. So, all those energies that I picked up at the beginning of the message... Besides the one that's being divinely guided, because now we know who is the one that's being divinely guided uh, to divine feminine, divine masculine. It would be their emperor or their empress, their twin flame or their divine counterpart. All those other energies, yeah, they're just um, distractions. Pretty much. Karmics, karmic masculines, karmic feminines, karmic family members, karmic whatevers. Yep. What was done behind your back will definitely be shown to you. So, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, just know that, yeah. Something about 10 years. So, something could have happened 10 years ago, or somebody has been withholding information from a Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine for 10 years, or something about, yeah, some illegal use. Or, or, excuse me, these pictures or these videos that somebody either has already illegally used in an illegal way or is planning to. Yeah, it could have happened 10 years ago or something like that. But it's also, too, something about um, somebody, yeah, could get 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Locked up for e using some pictures or videos illegally. This could also be like, yeah, law. You know what I'm saying? Using illegal, using pictures or videos illegally. So it's like, yeah, using some pictures or videos against somebody that's innocent, like an innocent person. You know what I mean? I feel like, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine. You're definitely going to, you're going to receive a lot of information. But something, yeah, something could have taken place ten years ago, or something about ten years. Yeah, we got new home, new car, new life. So divine feminine, divine masculine. This pot, yeah, this new home, this new car, this new life definitely could could come with uh, some good karma. It's kind of like yeah, the number ten is a new beginning. So yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine. Yeah, you could be receiving some good karma for the next ten years. You know what I mean? But it's because of the last ten years of your life. 
You know, maybe the last 10 years of your life was chaos, havoc, and pandemonium. You know what I mean? You're definitely getting ready to receive some good karma. Or something about, yeah, you could have changed your life 10 years ago. And so, yeah, you're definitely getting ready to reap, you know what I'm saying, some good karma for you doing so 10 years ago. Wow. Somebody definitely, yeah, could have stole somebody's, um, stole somebody's identity to, to possibly, yeah. Get a new home, get a new car, thought that they was going to live a new life or something about, yeah, somebody, yeah, planning to do something to a divine feminine, divine masculine set up, you know what I'm saying, to be able to, yeah, use a divine feminine, divine masculine's identity to, yeah, get a new life. But somebody definitely could have been using somebody's identity for the last 10 years and somebody don't even know it. So this illegal use of picture or videos would be, yeah, like. Man, this is crazy because it's kind of like, yeah, somebody's been playing like that they were somebody this whole time. So it goes back to, yeah, the, the, the Mountain Dew and the Diet Mountain Dew, the Coke and the Diet Coke. Wow, yeah, this lion sneaky thief. There's a lion sneaky thief out here that has been doing multiple things. Multiple plans have failed, but they've been doing multiple things involving multiple people. So I feel like the, yeah, whoever, whatever energy that I picked up on as far as, um... As far as uh, somebody acting like that they're coming in peace, but they're not. Yeah, this definitely could be that lying sneaky thief. I just saw still in love with you. So somebody, yeah, could try to act like they're still in love with somebody. Whoever this person is, I don't feel like that they were still in love with somebody. I'm also picking up, too, going back to the beginning of the message when I was like, yeah, somebody's telling everybody that they love a divine feminine, divine masculine, or, you know what I'm saying, uh, whatever they were telling somebody or people. Yeah, that could be that person. So this could be why, yeah, people or somebody could have been trying. So this could be somebody's um, twin flame or somebody's divine counterpart, somebody's emperor or empress. And so that could be the reason why uh, somebody or people are doing all this. Wow. Somebody also is going to find out that they were betrayed by their siblings or they're being betrayed by their siblings. Mm -mm. Somebody definitely needs to be aware because, yeah, there definitely could be a divine feminine that, and divine ma or divine masculine. Yeah, again, they put their faith with their works. And yeah, they, they're living a whole different lifestyle. They possibly, yeah, have come across the right people, uh, you know what I'm saying, the right resources or something about, um yeah, somebody knowing, you know what I'm saying, that uh, Divine Feminine Divine Masculine is in a, a good place in their life, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, they're going to try to, yeah, bait a Divine Feminine Divine Masculine in to switch up on them. So be aware. And something too about yeah somebody somebody knows that they went too far when it comes to stealing somebody's identity and so yeah somebody whoever this person is they're gonna try to bait up bait a divine feminine divine masculine energy in just to you know what I'm saying get what they want or possibly yeah just to harm a divine feminine divine masculine possibly yeah to try to yeah beat a divine feminine divine or not let me say not beat up but you know what I'm saying try to harm try to physically harm a divine feminine divine masculine into scaring them not to do something. You know what I'm saying? You bet not run and tell nothing. You bet not go to court. Or something like that. But yeah, there goes that still in love with you energy. So, somebody definitely needs to be aware. Because this is somebody that, yeah, possibly did tell somebody that they loved them, but they really didn't. You know what I mean? This I feel like this is the forbidden love energy. Mm-hmm. So somebody needs to be aware because, yeah, somebody's about to, yeah, receive some type of offer of love. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be trying to bait somebody in just to switch up on them. So somebody could be trying to bait somebody in by, yeah, trying to offer somebody a love situation. But whoever this person is, they just trying to keep something out of court or they're trying to stop somebody from going to court. Or, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to stop, yeah, a divine feminine, divine masculine from having this good karma. Or receiving some information because it's something about remember uh uh divine feminine divine masculine's ancestors something about yeah the fraudulent documents the fraudulent information or something like that or yeah the withholding of the information mm -hmm. there's somebody that don't want to let go of somebody so somebody definitely needs to be aware there's a sneaky lion a lion sneaky thief that don't want to let go um mm-hmm 
Multiple plans have failed and they still don't want to let go. Or something about, yeah, whoever this person is, they were trying to steal, yeah, a twin flame or a divine counterpart. They don't want to let go of something that doesn't belong to them. This could also be, yeah, the idea of living in somebody else's life or living, yeah, walking in somebody else's shoes. It's kind of like, yeah, whoever this person is, again, their wish was granted. So they wanted to, yeah, be a divine feminine, divine masculine, or let me not say that. They wanted to live in a divine feminine, divine masculine's life, or you know what I'm saying? They wanted to live in a divine feminine, divine masculine skin. So they got the bad part, you know what I'm saying? Because divine feminine and divine masculine, they don't live in that. So they got the dark side. Divine feminine and divine masculine lives in the light side. Even though we're we're both balanced, you know what I'm saying? We're balanced, both dark and light. Yeah, divine feminine and divine masculine, they're more light than dark now. You know what I mean? Or it's a, it's a balance. Versus, yeah, maybe, you know what I'm saying, in the past, divine feminine was totally south node. So they operated, you know what I'm saying, in their dark side, you know what I'm saying, 95% uh, of the time or something like that. So yeah, that's what this, that's what that person is getting. Whoever it is that try to steal, you know what I'm saying, uh, Divine Feminine's identity, especially spiritually, yeah, they're getting the bad side. I feel like that they don't want no more. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then it's also kind of too like, yeah, the, the clown is being clowned. The lion sneaky uh, thief is being clowned. They're being laughed at. Or they're about to be because, yeah, it's some stuff. People are about to see some stuff take place. People are about to see, yeah. I feel like people are already seeing divine feminine, divine masculine turning tragedy to triumph. You know what I mean? But they're but they're getting ready to see something take place physically. You know what I'm saying? It could also be yeah, people are going to see a divine feminine, divine masculine get in a passionate love situationship. Mm hmm. There definitely yeah could be somebody that's trying to bait and bait a uh, divine feminine, divine masculine in so that yeah they will miss this offer of love. But ain't no way that they're going to miss this offer of love. Yeah, whoever these people are, divine feminine, divine masculine, your ancestors are watching these people. Your ancestors are, yeah, like watching these people like hawks because you're going to receive this. These people can't stop it. I feel like, the, yeah, they stopped it for long enough when divine feminine, divine masculine possibly, yeah, wasn't as sure of themselves as they are now. Or, you know what I'm saying? Divine feminine, divine masculine wasn't as tapped into their spirituality as they are now. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, somebody or some people, they definitely regret dragging your name through the mud. So it goes back to, yeah, that person, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get it how they live, you know what I mean? Putting on shows, putting on performances, you know what I mean? To try to uh, uh, impress other people that don't, that basically, yeah, betrayed them, pretty much. Mm -mm. We got arrested in court. We, we picked this arrested in court energy up in another uh, message as well. But somebody definitely could get arrested in court, you know, and they could be, yeah, charged. And they could get 10 years. But be aware, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, because there is some temptation that is coming towards you. This is somebody that uh, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine could have known for 10 years or something about, yeah, 10 years. So it could be, yeah, somebody gets locked up. And there is somebody else that's like, yeah, well, they locked up now. Let me go towards Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine because I see it in a game now. I see, you know what I'm saying, that, 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 yeah, we can't be playing up in, you know what I'm saying, in spiritual world. Or we can't be, you know what I'm saying, doing, uh, committing crimes against Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine or something like that. But, the, but it's temptation. So whoever, the, this is the bait and switch up or this is the lying sneaky thief or this is the clown. This is one of those, you know what I'm saying, that, yeah, somebody's ancestors is, is watching. So it's a bad idea for anybody that, yeah has done, you know what I'm saying, some stuff to a Divine Feminine Divine Masculine as far as in this situation, it's a bad idea for the, those people to try to pop up on the Divine Feminine. It's a bad idea for those people to try to come towards a Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, yeah, these people, these people are purposely being used as distractions, you know what I'm saying, to try to stop this good karma, to try to stop, you know what I'm saying, what is getting ready to take place. But they're also, yeah, trying to stop um, something from going to the courts. Or they're trying to, yeah, get get a divine feminine to not, you know what I'm saying, go to court or not to, you know what I'm saying, press charges or whatever the situation is. Yep, yeah, we got hiding information at the bottom of the deck. So, mm-hmm.
Wow. The arrested in court card, it came right back out. So somebody, yeah, definitely could get arrested in court. But I did pick up on, you know, a couple of court dates in this message. got a Capricorn Taurus Virgo so whoever you know this message is for you could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo or you know what I'm saying or have Capricorn Taurus or Virgo on your chart or there's a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo you know what I'm saying that possibly is going to get arrested in court there definitely could be a Capricorn or Taurus or Virgo who definitely could be trying to come in and offer some uh, 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 try to offer some type of love to somebody but but this definitely could be one of those people that's trying to keep whatever Whatever it is that they're trying to keep out of court, out of court. So somebody could have got, could have gone, already gone to a court hearing, and so these people possibly could have been told that, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine was going to be made aware of what's going on, so that they can be in court. So there definitely could be people, temptation, distractions that are, yeah, trying to distract divine feminine, divine masculine from receiving this information. You know what I'm saying? Uh, possibly, yeah, trying to distract divine feminine, divine masculine from, yeah. Not going to court or whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And it, and it definitely has something to do with money. So I did pick up on that money energy. So yeah. But money can't buy happiness. Money can't buy uh, these people's way out of whatever this is. And I'm also picking up too something about, yeah. I feel like this is really spiritual court. But it literally could be physical court as well. But, but going back to the beginning of the message. Yeah, trying to bring offerings to somebody else's ancestors or their own ancestors or whatever the situation is. No. Whatever you have started, it, it has to be finished. Not you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, but these people. Whether it be physically or, or spiritually. Mm -hmm. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, you possibly are not in communication with any of these people. Or something about, yeah, you not needing to be in communication with, with these people. Mm -hmm. But there's also, too, going back to, yeah, that person that, yeah, wanted to walk a mile in Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine shoes. Thinking that a divine feminine, divine masculine ain't went through nothing, you know what I'm saying? And maybe it's because, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine don't look like what they've been through. But yeah, there's a divine feminine, divine masculine that done went through a lot. So if somebody want to go up in a divine feminine, divine masculine spiritual record, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or you know what I'm saying? Play up in a divine feminine, divine masculine's life, trying to swap, you know what I'm saying? And so yeah, they got what they asked for. Their wish was their, uh, their wish was granted. And so yeah, it's kind of like. Whoever this person is, they done got themselves involved in a whole lot of shit. And they possibly, yeah, could get arrested. This could be, again, in physical court or spiritual court. And, and it's too, it's kind of like, yeah, this person is being laughed at by people. So there's people that are not even in communication with this person. But it's because, yeah, these people basically, yeah, they know that this person is a clown. This person is a lying, lying sneaky thief. Yeah, this person, yeah, has been hiding information, possibly from them as well. So, yeah, it would make sense why I picked up that energy as far as in the beginning of the message. So, somebody, yeah, hasn't been in communication with somebody or, you know what I'm saying, they've been, like, limiting their communication with somebody because, yeah, they've been hiding information. And it's possibly been ha haunting them, you know what I'm saying, the fact that they've been hiding this information. This information can no longer be hidden, but it's also, too, yeah, somebody's trying to come towards the divine feminine and divine masculine, you know what I'm saying, to tell the divine feminine and divine masculine that, yeah, somebody's been hiding information from them. But it's also, too, yeah, some type of hidden information is going to be revealed to a divine feminine, divine masculine. And it's something about, yeah, some good karma. Mm hmm We got cyber slacking. So somebody definitely could have been using their employer's internet or their um, employer's email for personal use. So it definitely could have something to do with the pictures or videos that was used illegally. Somebody definitely could have lied and said that a divine feminine, divine masculine was, yeah, cyber slacking, you know what I'm saying, on the job. Mm -hmm. So somebody yeah, could get arrested in court for yeah doing something illegal. And then we have spiritual attacks backfired. So whatever uh, spiritual attacks that um, somebody or some people were doing, it backfired. So that's the energy that I was picking up. Especially if somebody did uh, that love spell. 
yeah, it didn't turn, you know, it, this could have been, yeah, like somebody that did a love spell and maybe, yeah, they, it started out as some type of passionate love situation between them and whoever they were with. And then, yeah, it turned into some type of forbidden love situation or that literally is going to take place. So that could be some type of accident that I was picking up. I'm picking up on multiple things, multiple things going to take place. So yeah, like somebody, if somebody doesn't abuse themselves, then yeah, they could just get in an abusive relationship to the point to where, yeah, they end up in the hospital or something like that. Yep, and we have job loss, financial loss at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, there's a divine feminine, divine masculine that um yeah, they possibly done law you know what I'm saying, lost a job or two or three, you know what I mean? Um they possibly yeah, could have lost finances over and over and over again, but they still bounce back, you know what I'm saying? They still they had they continue to have faith and they put their works with their faith, you know what I mean? And that's why they're still standing. Yep. There's there are some people that yeah look at a divine feminine divine masculine as mysterious and secretive, but it's because a divine feminine divine masculine possibly moves in silence. Divine feminine divine masculine, if that's the way you move, continue to move. For those of you that don't really move in silence, what move in silence means is to keep your business to yourself. You know what I mean? Because um, yeah, there's people that are lurking. You know what I mean? That that that. They their their motives are to stop this or you know what I'm saying to keep something out of the courts, keep their name out of it, whatever the situation is. Mm-hmm. So divine feminine divine masculine, yeah. You could have lost finances due to the lies and the rumors, you know what I'm saying? That 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 was being spread around about you. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah. The clown is being clowned, or whoever was involved in, you know what I'm saying using these pictures of videos illegally and all the other the plans that failed yeah they're being laughed at because yeah now they're losing finances and stuff doing due to the lies and the rumors that they that they started you know what i'm saying but it's something about yeah 10 years so there definitely could be somebody that yeah could be confronting their fears and they're ready to take some type of action and this definitely could have something to do with yeah revealing some information Mm-hmm. But yeah. There's also somebody that's gonna use selectful forgiveness for selective forgetfulness about the past. So be aware. I feel like that, that definitely could be the person. You know what I'm saying? That's coming like that they come in, in peace, but they're not. Mm-hmm. Yep. Somebody's been hiding information that they yeah. That they did a money spell or a love spell or a health spell, but it all backfired. But it's also too, yeah, somebody could be trying to hide. So somebody that's not in communication with somebody, it's because, yeah, they're they're trying to hide. So they're going through all all everything that, yeah, it, that was that a divine feminine divine masculine was supposed to be going through. Money spell, love spell, health spell. So it goes back to, yeah, somebody wanted divine feminine divine masculine's life so bad that they were willing to do rituals, sacrifices, money spell, love spell, health spell, whatever. To take a divine feminine divine masculine out so that they can walk in divine feminine divine masculine shoes. And yeah, the most high was like, okay, say less. You you ain't even you you ain't even gotta say that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even gotta go through all that. I'm gonna I'm gonna allow you. But at the same time, everything that you were trying to do to a divine feminine divine masculine, it's I'm gonna make sure it backfires because that's what you wanted for them. And so whatever, yeah, it comes it comes with the territory. Everything that you you know what I'm saying, it comes with the territory. So yeah. Wow. Yep, somebody was steering in the wrong direction. So I feel like that's the person that's like, how do I get out? You know what I mean? <laughs> this is the person that, yeah. So whoever it was, the person that, yeah, was playing two sides because I feel like that's what they were doing. Or, you know what I'm saying, they left a divine feminine, divine masculine behind to go towards somebody else to basically team up and not make the dream work and uh you know what i'm saying uh yeah try to make divine feminine divine masculine look stupid or yeah let's let's stunt on divine feminine divine masculine let's do it big you know what i'm saying let's embarrass divine feminine divine masculine yeah whoever this person is they were steered in the wrong direction and then on top of that 
going back to the beginning of the message or the middle of the message, whenever it was, when I was talking about, yeah, somebody tried to use somebody that, that was top level or, you know what I'm saying, uh, somebody that, yeah, claimed to be a master, you know what I'm saying, of rituals or masters or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, yeah. These people comparing, yeah, so it goes back to the the, the Mountain Dew and the, the Diet Mountain Dew. So people thought, you know what I'm saying, that Divine Feminine Divine Masculine, or let me let me use something else. A diamond and then a cubic zirconia. So um, these people thought that, yeah, the Divine Feminine Divine Masculine was a cubic zirconia, only to basically find out that a Divine Feminine Divine Masculine, yeah, was is a diamond. They're shining bright as hell. And so, with that being said, going back to the beginning of the message, because this next card, it further lets me know why I was picking up that energy. So, yo, people, you know, thinking that, um, that, um, they're going to come toward, pop up on Divine Feminine, you know what I'm saying, or Divine Masculine, or, you know, they're going to do this and they're going to do that. It's kind of like, yeah, these people can do whatever they're doing from a distance, but once they try to get close to a Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, it's a wrap. Yeah, these people are basically finding out that a divine feminine, divine masculine is their karma. Mm hmm. So every time, yeah, they plan to do something to a divine feminine, it backfires. Every or a divine masculine. Every time, you know what I'm saying, they try to come against a divine feminine and a divine masculine, it backfires. So yeah, these people are basically realizing that yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine is their karma. Mm hmm. Yeah, something could have taken place uh, two years ago. Something could have a, somebody could have a two-year-old, you know, child. Somebody, yeah, could get between. Somebody could have a child between the ages of two and ten, or something about yeah, between t two and ten years. So it's kind of like, too, what I'm picking up is, yeah, so a Divine Feminine Divine Masculine for the next 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Divine Feminine Divine Masculine could receive some good karma. For the next two years, yeah, these people could receive some bad karma. Mm-hmm. But you have no more chances. So, yeah, the game is over. But I feel like the, yeah, it was really never a game. These people considered it as a game, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah. That somebody don't have no more chances and it's something about yeah um somebody possibly yeah had a chance to you know what i'm saying reveal what was hidden somebody had a chance to tell the truth in court or somebody had a chance to do something but they didn't and so yeah it could be it could result so like yeah somebody could have been told you're going to receive two years you know what i'm saying if you yeah but somebody thought that they thought that they were bigger and bad bad better or you know what i'm saying somebody thought that they you know what i'm saying uh, made the rules or the laws and so yeah they could go from two years to ten years or something about yeah somebody's bad karma so somebody's bad karma could go from two years to ten years um we got a mother we got a father we got in-laws so somebody's mother and father or somebody's in-laws could be involved something about the community mm-hmm Somebody's, yeah, mother or father or in-laws in definitely could have been hiding some information. And I'm also picking up, too, something about, yeah, so somebody that somebody could have been dealing with, so they left, so whoever this person is, they left a divine feminine, divine masculine behind, or they, they left a divine feminine, divine masculine hanging, only for them to go to towards somebody, you know what I'm saying, that it's like, that could be, yeah, like their family, you know what I mean? So this could be like, um, you know, they could be, you know, related by marriage or, you know what I'm saying? It could be, yeah, like somebody's third or fourth cousin or something like that. Because that's another reason why people are being clowned as well. And it's another reason why, yeah, picking up on that child energy. So somebody, yeah, could have had ch a child with like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, their, their, their third cousin on their mother's side or their fourth cousin on their father's side or, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with with a cousin by marriage, or you know what I'm saying, a sister by marriage, or something like that. So that literally could be, yeah, some information that's coming out as well. So it's kind of like, and yeah, no more chances. It's almost too like, yeah, somebody's mama, their whole life is going to be exposed. Somebody's father, somebody's in laws, 
whoever. You know what I mean? Wow, this is this is deep. So yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine. Just know that whatever your heart is is desiring, you definitely will receive. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we got the angel number four four four. So you definitely could be seeing four 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 a lot. But yeah, you definitely do have ultimate protection. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, we got a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So you could be a Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius. I have any of those in your chart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going from bad to worse. So things are going from bad to worse when it comes uh, to these people. Yep, and you could be seeing the angel number 555. So there is a big change that is uh, taking place. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, just know that whoever this person is that somebody hasn't been in communication with, yeah, they're too embarrassed to show their face. Or people. Yeah, because, yeah, somebody or some people, they violated and mistreated a divine feminine and divine masculine. It could be, yeah, somebody's mother, somebody's father, somebody in, somebody's in-laws, you know what I'm saying, that are too embarrassed to show their face. That's why I kept picking up on, you know, multiple energies that could be trying to reach out or trying to pop up on a divine feminine and divine masculine. But the the bright idea card was in the reverse. So it don't matter who it is. It ain't a good idea. It ain't safe for the mama, the daddy, <laughs> the the in-laws, the siblings, whoever. Mm-hmm. Yep, we got a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. So you could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or Scorpio or have any of those in your chart. So, yeah, there's somebody that or people that are aiming to soften the blow of what's about to happen. So I, that's the energy that I was picking up as far as people um, trying to um, people uh, trying to keep something out of court. People, yeah, people trying to, you know what I'm saying, not get the law involved. And then we have signed, sealed, and delivered. So somebody definitely, yeah, could receive some type of letter. So divine feminine, divine masculine, just know that whatever your heart is desiring, you will receive. So that's the energy that I was picking up. You know what I'm saying? Out of all the chaos, uh, there is, you know what I'm saying, a beautiful outcome that is definitely going to take place. Uh, I feel like whatever the hidden information is that, that's been being hidden as far as uh, somebody or some people, especially when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, uh, the lion sneaky thief. You know, the, 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 the ID or the, the license or whatever the situation is, the, the drugs, the setup, all that stuff, using pictures or videos illegally. Yeah. Divine Feminine Divine Masculine is definitely going to find out about it for sure. Mm -hmm. Somebody, yeah, definitely could have physically stole a Divine Feminine Divine Masculine's identification. And they definitely could have been using it for the last 10 years or the last two years or, you know what I'm saying, however long that somebody has had it in their possession. Somebody's first mother or last name could start with a K or an I or a Z. Somebody could be from New Jersey or New Jersey could be uh, relevant to somebody. Massachusetts. We got Colorado. Somebody's first mother last name could start with a G. Somebody could be from Mississippi. Or Mississippi could be relevant. We got Iowa. Somebody's first mother last name could start with an O. Another O. Another V. I mean, excuse me, I said another V. So yeah, somebody's about to receive another victory. But uh, first mother last name could start with a V. We got Vu. If we get a D, somebody definitely was doing Voodoo. Mm-hmm. But something about OVO. So that's a record label. Something about Drake could be significant.
Somebody could like to wear wigs. Somebody's first mother last name could start with a W. Something about somebody being woozy. So somebody, yeah, could pass out. Or somebody could be woozy from, yeah, all the drugs and alcohol. Somebody's first middle or last name could start with an E. Something about uh, The Wiz. The movie The Wiz. Mm -hmm. Somebody's first middle or last name could start with a C. Somebody definitely could be watching a lot of TV. The View. CW. So something about CW or something... That, Ain't that a channel CW? Or something about um yeah the view the view is a um a show. But it's something about yeah somebody seeing somebody else's life view a different view. Yeah, somebody could be from Kansas. Or something about Kansas could be significant. Somebody's first mother last name could start with a, a H. Something about a check. Something about Google. Something about the government. So somebody yeah could receive a government check or something about yeah somebody uh getting a government check. Somebody's name could be Kevin. We got Texas. So somebody's first middle last um I said it's first middle last name. Somebody could be from Texas. We got another O. Something about, yeah, somebody being choked. Somebody's first middle last name could start with a R. Somebody could own an RV or something about it, somebody going camping. Something about a Ruger. So something about yeah, a G U N, but I was picking that up with the um with the uh uh the trigger energy. We got Michigan, so Michigan could, could be relevant. Uh somebody's first mother last name could start with a um a D. So yeah, voodoo. Somebody definitely was doing voodoo. Something about check the door. Or something about a door view. Somebody definitely is trying to figure out where somebody lives because we have road and then we have drive. Mm hmm. Something about ride. Somebody yeah, is definitely trying to hide. Somebody definitely needs to be aware. Somebody definitely yeah, could be trying to do some type of voodoo on somebody's door or something like that. Something about somebody, because we have hood out here. So somebody definitely could be from the hood or something like that. Or something about, yeah, a hoodie. Something about a D-R-E-C-O. We got a J. Somebody's first middle or last name could start with a J. We got an S. So somebody's first middle or last name could start with a S. Something about, yeah, chords. So somebody definitely could have, yeah, cut some cords. Or somebody needs to cut some cords. We got an I, another I. So somebody's first middle last name could start with an I. Somebody, yeah, definitely could be sick in the hospital.
Something about rice. Somebody could like to eat rice. Somebody's name could be Jesse or Jessica. We got Missouri. So Missouri could be relevant. Uh, we got Delaware. We got another K. So somebody's first middle or last name could start with a K. We got a Y. So somebody's first middle or last name could start with a Y. Somebody's name could be Corey. We got a T. So somebody's first middle or last name could start with a T. Something about, yeah. Something about a side chick. We got Arkansas. Somebody's first middle or last name could start uh <laughs> Not again. Somebody could be from Arkansas. Yeah, we got DV out here. So something about, yeah, domestic violence. Somebody's name could be Rod. Or Roderick. We got a C. So somebody's first middle or last name could start with a C. Something about, yeah, a city. Somebody could uh, be from the city or live some type of city life. City life. Something about, yeah, victory. Somebody definitely is planning on popping up on somebody. So somebody definitely needs to be aware. Somebody definitely, yeah, either is trying to find out where somebody lives or somebody has already found out where somebody lives. Somebody's name could be Isis or something about Isis. Something about, yeah, story or something about two stories. Somebody could live in a two story building. We got Dory out here. Somebody's name could be Dory. Somebody's name could be Tori. Somebody's name could be Roy. Something about a toy dog or a toy poodle. Somebody's name could be Koi. Or something about some a koi fish. Yeah, something about somebody's ID. Somebody could like to drink Yoo-Hoo. Or something about Yoo-Hoo. Something about some hickeys. Or something about some hickory. Something about some services. Something about some chores. Yeah, something about a, a doctor. Yeah, something about some kids. Something about his kids. Somebody's name definitely could be Kevin. Something about the color white or somebody's last name could be white.
Something definitely is going to happen soon. Somebody, somebody definitely could have to, could like to hike. Yeah, somebody definitely could be from Kansas. Something about, yeah, something could take place in the next two weeks. Something about, yeah, a wreck. Or somebody definitely, yeah, could get in a wreck. Something about Walmart. I don't know why I'm picking up Walmart. We don't have an A out here, but I just heard Walmart. Something about, yeah, somebody feeling like somebody's hot. Or somebody, yeah. Something about a thought. Somebody could sleep on a cot. Somebody could be from KY, Kentucky. Something about, yeah, a story. Two story house. Somebody could live in a two story house. Something about, yeah, somebody riding past. Somebody's a rookie. Something about a divorce. Yeah, some, something about good. Good karma. Somebody's name could be Gordon. Something definitely could could happen in in some weeks. Two weeks. Somebody definitely could be a hoarder. Or something about yeah, we got God out here. We got Ike out here. Somebody's name could be Ike. Somebody could be Stocky. Somebody could have a cyst. Or something about some cysts. You know, like cysts on their ovary or cysts, you know what I'm saying, somewhere. Something about, yeah, a dog. Somebody's Chinese zodiac sign could be a dog. Somebody definitely could eat chocolate. Somebody could be allergic to chocolate. That's another reason why somebody will possibly end up in the hospital. Or, yeah, it's something about, yeah, somebody doing something dumb. It's also, too, something about a video. So, uh, uh. Wow. I feel like, yeah, somebody definitely is about to uh, find some stuff out. But I feel like, yeah, throughout all the mess, throughout all the chaos, happy and pandemonium, I feel like that, yeah, there is a, 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 a beautiful outcome that's going to take place for somebody. Um, but whatever, you know, somebody was trying to hide as far as, yeah, trying to keep it out of, uh, you know, the courts or whatever the situation is, I feel like, yeah, somebody's going to find out about it anyway. But somebody definitely did, does need to be aware because, yeah, somebody is looking for somebody's home or trying to figure out where somebody lives or somebody already knows where somebody lives or people already know where somebody lives. And so I feel like, yeah, somebody just needs to, um, you know, protect, you know, their surroundings, you know. But I feel like, the, yeah, somebody's ancestors, they're not playing. And whoever these people are, they know that, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine is their karma. If they don't know, they about to find it out in a bad way. So it sucks to be them. But Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, just know that everything, you know what I'm saying, is going to turn out the way it's supposed to turn out. And as I always say, you know what I'm saying, keep your head held high and your middle finger higher. And just like I said, everything is going to turn out. 
So with that being said, that's been your message. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.